welcome to Agoegba community, a suburb of Ebutemeta in mainland local government area. One of the major central business districts of Lagos State, which has been in existence before independence. It is a place of attraction, and colonial masters settles here. And this explains why many houses in the area share similarities with Brazilian architecture. Agoegba is a notable community in Ibute Meta. When Lagos Community Update visited the area during the course of this report, it was not difficult to get a picture of how Agoegba was in time past. Many of these community leaders were born here, so they narrated to us the pre- and post-colonial days. I was born and brought up in this community. Agoegba started existing before independence because this is where the Egba refugees are being settled before the independence. And it will be 150 years this year. Then we only have bungalows. And the bungalows, you know, there are no partition. The partition are being used as compound because we believe everybody in our Egba community are family. So it is very rare before you see demarcation within the buildings there, before the development. Are you going to be missing? Oh, I need Leonie and buy. Cotis, see me, Ilio, look, a rope football. Cotis, see, be a what he, I'll get a mad you go. I want to warrant, see, lay lad you go. Oh, my job. Was given to the bath by the then Glover, the then governor of Lagos State, the white man, Governor Glover gave them this place through a lot of in the year 1876. Even we are celebrating the 150 years of its existence next month, October 13. So they came here, they started here, living here, doing their business, doing everything here before we were even born. The major occupant are the Yorubas, but the Igbos are the, do, the people doing the business here. The Igbo people, they do business here. But the, the settlers are the Yorubas. We have other tribes too. We have the Aousas. They are here too. The Bini people, they are here too. This place is not for commercial purposes. We are so tolerant that we allow the Igbos, you know, to be our partner too. Originally, according to them, Agoegbe was designed to be a residential area until the early 80s when old structures began to pave way for modern ones. The Ebers then settles in for commercial activities. Yoruba is one of the most accommodating communities we have in Nigeria because we intermarriage, we do business within the area, we cooperate. When they have any little problem, they call us or we call them. We join together to solve any problem here. So we don't have problem with them here, this place. We started the chairman. The chairman is very accommodating somebody. He understands us, we understand him. So we are doing our business here without any hindrance. Agoegba Community Development Association consists of eight major streets, most of which are densely populated and in turn affecting both public and self-help projects in the vicinity. Since 1990, we built up this uh, community hall for the meeting point of the community. It was then that we started developing the hall to the new form. Before the new chairman came in and completed it to the level it is now, because we are not okay with what we have now. We still think 
we need to put some things in order again. You realize that water is being taken away. People needed water. And know how you must provide your people with water. If you cannot do that, nobody will recognize you. Light, it gives security. Before we put this light, street light into place, we have been having all these uh, car thefts. So we have to put the street light in place so that it will help. Because in the darkness, anything can be done. So if there is light, it will checkmate crime to some extent. We do the costing, it's about two million naira. So we tax ourselves. So when we know that the money is a little bit high, then we call the contractor. You can see it. We need the, the good ones. Then water again. Water too is something to write home about. So we decided to do a borehole. After that, we've been doing our things like that. We buy petrol every day. 3,000, 4,000, every blessed day. The generator may get spoiled, we do it on our own. Before this street light was constructed by members of our Goegba Community Development Association, a food seller in the area told us on how high the crime rate was in the community. She explained that, aside safeguarding the area, commercial activities have received a boost since the installation of the street light by the community leaders. Tele, <laughs> We cannot expect government to do everything for us here. Eh? By the, our private initiative and the, the community CDA, we are praising them including the ballet because they are cooperating and they're making everything to happen here. We where they do business, you know. We just like their cooperation. So the light, it gives us joy. It gives us joy by bringing the light so that it will be shining, helping us in their business. No matter that we close early, but we still use light for other things. Although, Agwegba CDA wants to do more for the community, but handicapped by lack of resources, they are optimistic that private and public partnership will enhance more visible development. We want them to come to our aid. We've been doing it on ourselves, on our own. And we want government or corporate individuals to please keep in some little fund for us too.